Welcome back. We're continuing our discussion with Dr. Pete Sexton, who provides us with a few broad brushstrokes on the transition to no-till. They're, they're not, it's not just simply a, a matter of, okay, I'm going to quit tilling and, and operate everything the way I did before. Yes. It's more intensive management. So it's actually, uh, you have to be a little better manager, I think, yes. to, to be successful with it. But what anyway, I was going to say, Buzz, is some of the things that, that we've just learned from mistakes that we've made or, or seen. You know, one thing is you need a little more nitrogen initially because you're building your soil organic matter, so that's an investment. So it's investing in capital, so to speak. So that nitrogen's going into the bodies of the little microbes that weren't there before. Yeah, so, so if you were going from uh, conventional tillage to no-till, you'd have to use a little more nitrogen on your corn. You have to be more careful with your winter annual weeds. Make sure you get a good burn down okay. in the spring. And uh, then the other thing is you need to make sure your combine is, is distributing uh, your residue evenly. Because if, if it's not and you're tilling, you kind of spread it around, it doesn't matter so much. But if you're no tilling and your combine's kind of sort of leaving a windrow, well, then that's, that's, that's problematic. Good. And then uh, the, other side, the other point is maybe, uh, you know, just make sure your, your residue managers and your down pressure are good on your planter. And then we find, you know, it's a little wetter in the spring, but no-till soils will hold up traffic better when it's wet. And we can get in and spray and, and do field work on no-till fields when we can't, we can't do, move, move at all in our tilled plots. Yeah, that's a common story that I've heard as well. So uh, I guess those are the things I would look for. Is, uh, make sure you're distributing your residue well. Make sure you're gonna, your corn's going to need a little more nitrogen. And then after about somewhere after 5, 10 years, it levels off, and you don't need that extra nitrogen. But for the first five years, you know, you're building your soil organic matter, so you need a, another 25 pounds of nitrogen in that no-till system. And then Okay, so 25 pounds of nitrogen per acre, that's an increase in cost, right? Sure, but 25 units of nitrogen will cost about $9.50 an acre, which is about a third of the cost of the fall and spring tillage operations. I get that, but average costs vary, and it's easy to look at cost comparison in the absence of any context. Is there someone with a little wisdom that can help us take a step back and look at the bigger picture? I have just the person. Next video, we're gonna visit with Dave Olila from Butte County. See you soon.